The famous Chinese classical novel Outlaws of the Marsh, The Nine Tattooed Dragons, Chapter 3, narrated by Robert Xiaolian. In the previous chapter, I have mentioned the Prince Duan has asked Marshal Wang to let him have Gao the Bull. In fact, Marshal Wang would like to show more of his service to the prince, that he was so pleased to let Gao stay there in the palace. Well, after Gao the boy had been taken into the prince's service, he was well fed and lodged. And as for Gao, after being uh, so fortunate as to be noticed by His Highness, follow his master everywhere all the time, never, never leaving him a footstep. Well, well, heaven was really good with Gao that two months later, the Emperor Zhezong left this world. There was no direct heir, and the civil and military authorities, after holding a council, declared Prince Duan the new emperor. He reigned the empire as Emperor Huizong and was also a Taoist Grand Master founder of the Clear Jade School and master of the Way of the Subtle Mystery. His new reign was unremarkable. Listeners, why I said that Gao was lucky? You just listen and you know. All right, one day, however, the new emperor said to Gao the boar, who stood beside him, mm, is our desire to advance you. But for the promotion to be possible, you really uh, need some uh, frontier service behind you. Uh, first, we will have you listed at the War Ministry. Then you will be transferred to our personal guard. Hearing this, Gao was deeply impressed indeed, and he prostrated himself immediately. And less than six months later, the Emperor finally promoted Gao to the rank of Grand Marshal of the palace. Wow. <laughs> After receiving this rank, Gao the Boar was so happy that he selected a suitable day and in that morning he went to assume his duties. All the members of the staff and officers of the guard under his commands, the staff officers, the imperial guard, the emperor's personal guard, infantry and cavalry came to pay him respects, each holding out kind of a board showing his name and duties. Grand Marshal Gao, ticking the names off on his list, uh, he found out one was missing. Wang Jin, instructor of the 800,000 Imperial Guards, who had reported sick in the fortnight's time. Hmm. He was not yet recovered from his sickness. Marshal Gao became very angry all at once. What the hell? I've got his board here. If the boss part 
refuses to appear in front of me is simply because he's a shirker. He's pretending to be ill. Fetch him here. Fetch him here immediately. They went all at once to Wang Jin's home to get him. Wang Jin was still single and lived with his aged mother. The officers rushed to Wang and explained his situation. Oh, Wang was astonished. Since Marshal Gao was a difficult man to deal with and refused to accept his innocence, he must go with them, otherwise Gao will say he was faking an illness. Wang Jin went with them to the office. When he came into the presence of Marshal Gao, he kowtowed four times, and after inclining respectfully, he stood quietly at one side. Gao said with a cunning grin, Well, well, so you are Wang Jin, eh? the so-called 800,000 Imperial Guard. <laughs> well, listen, you. Are you the son of Wang Xin, former instructor of the guards of the capital? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Wang Xin was my father. Wang Jin replied. Well, <laughs> you scoundrel, your father was a mountebank who showed staff playing exhibition with a decorated stick in the market. What do you know of the military art? Hmm? My predecessor must have had no eyes. If he asks you to be an instructor, how dare you insult me by not showing up to my roll call? What makes you think you can stay home pretending to be sick as if you were on vacation? Hmm? Uh, I would not do that, sir. Truly, I have not recovered from my sickness. You scum! You scum! If you're sick, how did you get here now? Uh, if your excellency commands my presence, and naturally I must come. Marshal Gao's fury was unabated. Take this bastard away and thrash him for me, he yelled to the guards. But the guards were all on good terms with Wang and they joined in to persuade the marshal. Uh, today is the day of the marshal's first taking office. Uh, on such an auspicious day, is it not possible for your excellency to pardon him this while? <laughs> all right then. You scum! For the sake of these officers, I shall let you off for this time. But you be careful tomorrow. When Wang Jin had prostrated himself in gratitude, he stood up and raising his eyes for the first time saw that it was Gao the Boar. Ha! Ah. What? My goodness! As he left the yamen, he gave a great sigh and said to himself, ah, I'll be lucky. I'll be lucky to get out of this insult. I wonder who this martial girl could be. Well, it turns out that it's none other than 
of that infamous Wastra. Second brother Gao, the football player, he has harbored this hatred ever since he was learning the art of the staff and my father beaten him with a blow he was three or four months recovering from. Now, uh, he's just struck lucky and got this position of Grand Marshal to the court. So he wants his review. So he wants his revenge. I never foresaw I might have to serve under him. Oh, goodness me, how can I oppose him? What can I do in my situation? It was in a desperate frame of mind that he returned home, telling everything happened to his mother, and the two of them wept together. <laughs> My son, what shall we do? <sighs> his mother thought for a while and said, My son, I think the best way is always flight. But the trouble is, I fear there's no place to run, my dear boy. You're right, mother. The son said, it's what I had made up my mind myself, and I've thought of a way. The yamen of the field marshal Jung, the old field marshal, is in charge of the frontier garrison in Yan'an. Under his command, there are a good many officers from the capital who used to admire my martial arts demonstrations. Why can't we seek a refuge with them? I'm certain I can find some employment there which will enable us to keep alive. The mother nodded with her son's suggestion, so they immediately began packing. And the instructor of the 800,000 Imperial Guards was dealing with the two door watchers outside the gate. This was the only way for Wang Jin and his mother to go secretly. So everything was smooth and quiet, and the mother and son were on their way. Next morning, the two watchers, hmm? Where have they gone? Inspire and inquire at Wang Jin's neighbor's house, but did not find them. Oh, fearing that they would be implicated, they had no way out but to report the matter to the marshal's office. Hmm? Inspector Wang has abandoned his home and fled with his mother. No one knows where they have gone. Well, hearing chapter four, you learn more. <laughs>